Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to distinguish between units and dimensions and introduce some pretty basic fluid properties. So first looking at units, you should have seen these this in your previous studies. So units are things like kilograms, newtons, meters, seconds, among other things. Dimensions construct units. So uh, the dimensions of kilograms is m. Dimensions of, say, meters is L, and the dimensions of seconds is T. And we can construct things like newtons out of these three dimensions. And this forms the MLT system. The MLT system have, has four dimensions, M, L, T, and theta, where theta is temperature. You won't use temperature too much in fluid mechanics. Um, but it's still part of the system. You may see in some of your textbooks the FLT system um, in topics on dimensional analysis. That's just the system they use in places like America. Um, so it's the same thing, they just use force instead of mass. So we're going to go and construct um, the second law of motion, F equals MA, um, using dimensional dimensions the MLT system so we know the units of each of these um, variables so F is the the units for F is Newtons for mass is kilograms and for acceleration it's meters per second squared so to find the dimensions of this we write F between two square brackets to inform that we're finding the dimensions of force. Um, the dimensions of kilograms is mass, dimensions of m meters is length, and of seconds is time to the minus two. So the answer would be ml on t squared. And we'll see more on that in the topic on dimensional analysis. So now on to density. This is a pretty important um, fluid property. You'll be using it a lot. It's given the symbol rho, which is a funny P. Um, that equals mass on volume. So that has units kilograms on meters cubed. So the dimensions of rho equals mass from there. Uh, and M is length, so L cubed. So we'll be seeing a lot of that. Um, it's dependent on both pressure and time, but you'll be probably using mostly two values of rho 